Lovely. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name's Katie Davidson, and um, I'm completely obsessed with oysters. Um, there's many reasons for this. Um, I think the initial reason was because when I was 12 years old, on a holiday in France with my family, my dad kind of took it upon himself to say, let's have six of those oysters from the market. And it took him about half an hour and maybe two or three fingers to get six oysters open. And to see that sort of bloody experience in my dad's hands completely, you know, I was intrigued, of course. Um, but do not fear, they're not that actually hard to open at all. If anyone wants to come over once I finish ranting, um, and uh, have a go. I'll show you how to shuck an oyster. Um, the reason why I love them so much is these, these creatures here, I'm just gonna, oh look, there's my name, I see that before. Am I meant to stand behind it so people can? <laughs> no, I'll just use the floor. Um, these little shellfish have been around since before grass grew on this planet. And I know I can just spout a fact like that and you might think, yeah, whatever, but actually, if you go outside and you think, what would this planet look like without grass? How long ago must that have been? And the fact that these are still here now shows how exceptional they are as a species. Now that is, the reason why I'm talking about that is because I'm here to rant. Um, and I'm saying that because historically they've been around for millennia. But what a lot of people don't know is that oysters are actually functionally extinct in the wild. Um, and this is of great concern to a lot of people. Uh, there's many reasons for this. I have a selfish reason for it because I love eating them. Um, but as well as being an, an amazing foodstuff, this is part of the run as well, they contain huge amounts of natural um, trace metal elements like copper, manganese, uh, they have zinc in them, they have vitamin B12, the highest levels for a foodstuff ever. Um, they're also amazing in the fact that they are one of the only natural foodstuffs to contain dopamine. And I'm not sure if you know what dopamine is, anybody? Yeah, it's, uh, it's the neurotransmitter for pleasure. So they're doing us a lot of favors. Um, it doesn't stop there. Um, the reason why it worries me that they're functionally extinct is because oysters, as I said, have been around for millennia and they actually they, they, they create ecosystems in the ocean. They, um, where, where you find an oyster reef, you will always find clean water because they depurate the water and process it and actually oxygenate the water. Um, and what, you know, the problem we have with things like uh, global warming, um, where there's a lot of carbon dioxide in the air, oysters release oxygen. So, you know, they're, they're helping us out on that level as well. Um, the other thing as well is that they create an ecosystem for other uh, sea life in, in the area that they grow because they build up their reefs. An empty oyster shell will be a place for a baby oyster to latch its little foot when it's a baby, baby oyster called spat and then stays there for life and they gradually build up and build up and build up. And one of the benefits of that is a natural sea defense. And we all know, I mean, right now, uh, the amount of problems people have had with rising sea levels and the, tsunami, the effect of tsunamis. So again, they're helping us out in terms of geology as well. Um, so basically, what I, what I would really like people to do is not think of the oyster as an elitist uh, foodstuff for the very few. Um, if you go to a restaurant, yes, they can be quite expensive, but get online, have a search for them, and find out where you can buy them. Go and support your farmer's markets. If you're lucky enough to live by the coast, you can go down and buy them directly from the farmer and you can get a, a bag full for you know, under 20 quid. And I actually saw a packet of Monster Munch the other day for sale for 79p. And I actually had to sort of stand there and stare at it for a while because I remember them being about 10p, 34 years old. Um, so they're an incredible, you know, and, and in terms of um, quality and value in health and everything and taste and pleasure per penny, they're well worth it. Um, so yeah, I, I would like to try and convince everybody to actually try an oyster. And I, I actually believe that I can convert almost anybody. Uh, maybe not a vegetarian. Uh, but I think that if, 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 if someone's thinking, no, I don't think I'll like them, I think there's a way I can find for people to like oysters. And as I said, if you can go out there and try them yourself, then have them at home. I was at home this week with my friend and we had 24. Um, we did some in front of the fireplace, glass of wine, 
and it took the whole night just kind of chucking them, talking about them, um, and doing a few, um, another way to do them on the, in the oven. Uh, I call it the pressure cooker oyster. Uh, you literally take them as they are, like this, and you put them on the grill of your oven, really hot, and uh, the, it's all in the name. The pressure inside the shell, heating up with the juice, cooks the oyster, it poaches in its own juice, and it starts fizzing when it's ready, and that's when you know. So whip it out, and, it, and again, it does you the favor of opening itself up so you don't need to shuck it with the shucking knife. So if you're a bit scared of doing that, um, and you just put a dash of Tabasco and a little bit of lemon juice, and it's heavenly. Um, so yeah, oysters are an all-round win-win. They're full of wonderful um, nutrients. They do great things for the environment, and I've heard they do really great things for uh, relationships as well. But I haven't tried that theory yet, but I'm sure some people will. Uh, I'd just like to finish up by saying, um, if you'd like to come over and find out more personally, um, I'm running a campaign with the Shellfish Association of Great Britain, because as you know, oysters have been around in this country for a very long time. Um, what you might not know is that we used to sell them for pennies in the streets in London, and they were the foodstuff of the poor. What I would like to do is bring the oyster back to its former glory, not in terms of being expensive and elite, but in terms of being something that everybody can eat. So I hope you'll join me in that crusade. Thank you very much.